James Elder for IFL TV in association with Macklin's Jim Marbella. With me, I've got the WBC international champion Rocky Fielding. How you doing, Rock? All good, James. Yeah, happy bad. Yeah. You yeah. just absolutely wiped out Brian Vera. Second round. Talk me through that. Yeah, you know, it was a fight, a fight that I needed, a fight that I was right up for. You know, I don't think anyone's ever done that to. And he's been in with you know some top operators like Chavez Junior and Andy Lee and everyone like that. So I think. It was what I needed. I was right up for the fight. I was in here, had nerves. I was shitting myself, everything. But all of a sudden, this is this is it. Now this is a big fight for you. You need this. You need some nastiness in here, and, and that's what I, I got it. Took it. Took it the ring with me. Must be a massive relief for yourself because everybody's saying you're going to see what level of fielding's at, how good he is, how good he can be. You go in there and absolutely smash Brian Vera, the life out of Brian Vera. Yeah, you know. My last, my last fight um, in March, it wasn't the best. Um, been out for eight months, you know, rusty. But a fight like this, like Gonzalez, where I boxed him last year, a fight that I, who people think it's a test for me, and I know it is, and I'm right off for it. Same with Brian Vera. As soon as Eddie, Eddie heard text, text his name over, I was like, yeah, that's what I want. He had butterflies. Just going to the gym every day um, with a bit of butterflies in my stomach, a bit of fire, that, that's what I needed. And, and no better way to do that in front of my own crowd and they're falling in and you know I mean I can't find the support enough for what was there then so I'm happy with the win. I've got a good team, I've got everything around me and good people in the gym and thanks to uh, Matt and there for for the sparring he's done for me and you know all the spars I've had with them and you know, being away in camp to South Africa and being around the Glasgow fight with them and it's what I needed to, for these fights now so hey, um, I'm happy. I'm happy with the win and we only move on now. Knocked him over in the second round. It looked like he was going to stay down, but he got up very quickly. Ian John Lewis, for some reason, didn't seem to get in between you. You've then let go a peach of a shot that hit him flush on the chin. But I suppose at this level you're getting to now, you've got to be ruthless. Yeah, yeah, cause, yeah, yeah, Jay, because he's, um, he's took big shots in all these big fights like Chavez, 12 rounds, twice, big shots and everything like that. But as you say, this, the, this is the, the nastiness you need to, for fighters like him is to, you know, Make sure you hit him and make sure he's not getting up. Because you know if he's getting up, it's 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 back to a fight again. But um, I I be practicing or as I said, I've you know all of them been saying the best trainer around. So the technique, everything we everything we were doing in here now on the pads, with I just took him to the ring with me and it worked off. So I can't thank all of them enough for that. And um, I'm just happy with the better, you know, I'm buzzing really. Can we now see this as a sign to come in terms of you're going to be looking to step up your position again uh, from now on we can see you in more meaningful fights like tonight? Yeah, definitely. That, that, that's it, James. Yeah, you know, maybe, you know, get a good a defence of this, get a good a good top 10 or top 15 fighter, you know, for, for the next fight. You know, we, I'll sit down with Oliver and see what he what he thinks and, you know, see what Eddie, where he's got. But what we think, you know, these, these, these big fights out there, just maybe another one, one more good top 10, top 15 fighter, and then we're ready then to... Yeah. May I ask you what was said in the ring? What, what, what did Eddie Owen say in the ring about potential matches and stuff? No, we were just saying, you know, we want world world title. <coughs> I want a world title, you know what I mean? And I, I think doing that to Brian Vera, it just put me just put me there for, for on the edge of a world title, maybe one more fight, then I'll be ready for a world title. We don't know, I'll have to sit with Oliver and see what he thinks. But Eddie say, you know, Big fight there, you know what I mean? Just, you know, a defence, or maybe he's saying, you know, we want a world title, and, you know, let's see what he can, what he can, what he can deliver. Um, just gonna sit back now and, you know, clap back on the gym and get to buy beef for Sunday if my brother Stag do, uh, <laughs> and then get back in the gym and then clap back on and see what what's next, James. Yeah. Well, listen, if you do decide to go the IBF route, I know you're very highly ranked with them. You've now increased your ranking with the WBC. So you're getting opportunities and, and, and things are going to yeah, open up? Yeah, definitely. No, I think I'm number six, number seven with the IBF. Uh, you know, De Gale's the champion. I'm not calling De Gale out tonight. Any sort, do you know what I mean? He's a world champion. He's, he's a good fighter. Maybe I get a, a top ten IBF for final eliminator, then for a world title. Don't know in this boxing, do you, James? You know what I mean? It's, uh, James, De Gale could go down the rankings now, see who's available, and if I'm, if I'm available, then... You know, we'll sit with Oliver and we'll, we can take it, but we just see what happens, we just see what the, the next plan is, the next move. We've got a plan and 
going to see what, what we can um, we can do for the next fight. Listen, I'm glad everything's coming together for you. Congratulations on the fantastic victory and uh, enjoy your time in our beef for Rocky. And these are the two of these. She, Olivia, it's the first time I've had my fight, so, so it, she's made me good luck. She's brought me good luck. To first, first time I've had fight and I've won. You know, second, third time I've won. You're going to come and watch Uncle Rocky fight again? Yeah. Didn't sound too convincing. Thank you. Thanks for your time, Rock. Yeah, thanks See you again, Wilson. Thank, thank you, mate. Time.